All right, hi everybody. We're back here for take number four. Reaction number four. Now I had to restart this video because my iPad just about fell out of the holder. So I had to remount it. Scared, scared the crap out of me. I don't think I said any bad words, but I wanted to make sure. So I restart. Now look, this is what's left of what we put on the hot plate. This is our copper oxide. That's a precipitate. And so this is where all the copper's at and it's brown sort of muddy solid at the bottom. So we want to get this separate from this. And so we're going to use a technique called um, decanting to help us. So what we need, we need a piece of filter paper. And so the way you fold a piece of filter paper is we fold it in half and then we fold it in half again. So it looks like a little snow cone. And if you look, there's four pieces of paper. So we're going to pull three pieces to one side and one piece to one side and then look, a little snow cone. And so we're going to take that, we're going to put that into our glass funnel and then we need it to stick otherwise it won't it'll just pop out. We need it to stick to the side. So we're going to wet it and uh, so it sticks to the side. So I'm just going to put it under the sink and I ran it under a little bit of water and so now it's damp and so it's ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my ring stand. Now I do need another beaker, so let me grab another beaker here real fast. It's my fault. And so if we wanted to, we could use decanting. We could pour off some of this liquid uh, to speed up the process a little bit. And so I'll go ahead, I'll pour off some of the liquid. And so we're gonna take our stirring rod, put it across two places, the spout, in the back of the beaker and we're gonna pour off some liquid so let me point this more towards the sink so I'm gonna pour it very slow that way all that black solid that has the copper stays at the bottom but here's the problem Remember, you're looking for places where copper can be lost. There would be little flakes that come out too. Most of it's, like 99% of it's probably still here, but uh, some of these can come out too. So that is something to be looking out for. I'm gonna pour the rest into my filter paper. And I'm gonna take off the iPad so that way I can get it closer. but it's a slow process. And so all that copper gets stuck in the filter paper. It stays on the top. But all the water and other liquid chemicals go right through. All right, so this is the water portion and any leftover acid chemicals uh, up here. This is where all the copper is. This is the copper oxide. All right, so it's gonna take a little bit of time for this to finish. I'm gonna mount my iPad again. So what we're going to do, when it's all done dripping, we're going to take this filter paper out. And so the filter paper is now in a beaker. So all the copper is right here, at least most of it. Uh, a little bit, look at, look at my funnel here. A little bit of black liquid right here. Uh, so that's some copper that I lost. Uh, a little bit of copper maybe could have got through here, I doubt it, but maybe that's a possibility. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to add, in step four, I'm going to add sulfuric acid. So I'm going to put that right into the beaker here. So I'm going to go ahead and... Now I only need a couple milliliters. So I added that.
So I'm going to let that react for a couple minutes and then uh, we'll come back and I'll continue this part two of this video. So give me a minute.